Hi, everybody. Well, look who is my guest today, Kelly Tebow from General Hospital. Hello, hello. So great to see you. We were just hey, talking. Great to see you. I've missed her. We used to have lots of fun. We did, yeah. So we would go to events and awards. <laughs> and and like and we'd talk. We'd lots of giggles. <laughs> we'd giggle. Yeah. We would giggle. But it's been so great having you back on General Hospital. And you know what's really great, Kelly, is every time you come back, the audience is like, yay, yeah. Brit. You know, whether she's the Brit or not the Brit, like however she is, you kind of infuse some life into the show and people are like excited for your return. So how, what do you think about being back this time? Well, I think it's incredible the, the, the warm welcome that I get from the fans. Like that just makes me feel so good um, and kind of unexpected. You know, you never know what the character as complicated as she is, and especially her beginning and kind of her transformation now, like if people will still be interested or still like her or um, so, but I'm really happy to be back. It was, a, it was a complete surprise to come back on the show. I had no idea that that was gonna happen. It's something that I've always wanted to continue over the years, you know, come back and just the way that daytime is set up, you know, they want you on contract and all this stuff. So that's always been like an issue for me, um, but it was the right time. And I love what they're doing with my character right now. So I'm very happy. It's been great. Well, the funniest thing was I, I love when they brought her back originally this time and she was like the chief of staff. I know. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, that was a big leap. She went <laughs> totally a big leap. I was like, I don't know if Britt can handle this. It's not nice. Are you sure you want her like ready? And to remember the reactions of everybody at the nurses at the hub. And she's oh, like, yeah. it was such a funny, great scene. And they're all just like, uh. I know. It was really good. Um, interesting. This whole thing that's playing out with you and Steve Burton yeah. on air. First of all, you know, I've known Steve for so long. What's it like even working with Steve so closely now in, in these scenes, you know? Yeah, it's been really interesting. Our relationship um, has really kind of transformed along with our characters, which has been something that's been like unexpected and enjoyable. And he's such a great guy and he's so easy to work with. And he really um, has you know, he's been on the show for so long and he's so experienced in daytime and he really has just taken me under his wing. And I feel when we're working together, I feel very much protected, especially like if there's something that I want to do again, and I don't really feel like I have the right to ask, or if there's something in the dialogue that's feeling really funny, or just, he always is like there to kind of support me and help me have the best experience and for us to have the best experience. Um, but yeah, it was like interesting when we first started working together, I felt there was like this brother sister kind of like, you know, we would always joke and poke fun and, and that still exists. Like I've never laughed as much working with someone as I do with Steve. With Steve. Yeah. Like even in like really stressful, you know, um, high emotion, like drama scenes that we have to do we're cracking up in between takes. He's just the funniest person. He's so funny. And that's been really enjoyable. Like going to work now is really, really fun. And so you now, obviously, there's obviously this tension, sexual tension that you see yeah. building between the two of them. And it's so great the way they're kind of layering it. She really digs him. Brit's into oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Brit's <laughs> Brit's very much into him, especially with things that are going to be airing. He, he, is, he is someone in her life that she's never had before. And to be able to count on someone like that and lean on someone and have the support. And uh, yeah, she is very much fallen for him. Did they tell you when you were coming back, this was even part of this? No, so you, not at were all. Were you kind of like learning as you went, like, oh my God, I'm going on the run with Jason. Yeah. Like, we were. I mean, my first month back, I, you know, I was chief of staff. There was, I felt like they were putting me in all these different scenes, trying to figure out like what they wanted to do with her. And so I was just kind of like floating going, what's, what's going on, you know? And then Frank told me that my character might have Huntington's and I was like, what, what is that? And he was like, I don't have time to tell you, just look it up. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, if this is true, how are they going to play this on daytime? Cause it's a very, ugly disease okay. not just physically but just what it does to a person it's very sad and um 
And then all of a sudden, you know, Steve and I started working together and it was like, okay, we're going to see where this goes. And, you know, Steve being the legend that he is on daytime, he was like, Kelly, we don't know what's happening here. We have to pace this out. Like if this is going to end up being some sort of love story between these two characters, we have to pace this out over a long time and create this build. And he was so right, because if that's where it is going, it is a very nice build to get there. And he's right because yeah. it made the audience investment. It needs to make sense, totally. you know, what I mean? for anything to have any kind of lasting anything. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just a cheap thing in the middle of something. Yeah. I don't know if it will make sense to any of the fans. And then you got the J Sam people. They want Sam and yeah. Jason. They do not want Britt and Jason together. And they tell me every day on Twitter. <laughs> so it's like, what did I step into? Wow. Have you worked with Kelly Monaco? Have you said, talked to okay. her about this? Has she been? No, we haven't talked about it at all. Um, she's so cool. You know what I mean? She's just like. The coolness, right? She's she like, has like mega cool factor. Um, we joke around a lot, like we did, we worked together a lot during um, those episodes of Maxi and Wes's, or Peter and uh, Maxi's uh, wedding. We worked together a lot during that time and she's hilarious and we had a great time. I love how they put Britt helping Maxi. Hmm. There's that great relationship so there, fun, yeah. so fun. And where is Britt at at this point? She knows that Peter is dangerous to the core. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and unfortunately, the circumstances have just taken her away from being able to help Maxi. They had this whole plan to somehow get the baby away from Peter, and that has all kind of just gone to crap because I'm on the run now with Jason. So um, I don't know what will happen with that whole situation, but I'm excited to work with Kirsten again. We have so much fun together. It's a really great friendship for Britt. Like, she, she really needed that. She did need that. And I think what's really great though about Britt is like she saved Jason for the bullet. Like she goes into doctor mode, yeah. right? She can just, and then when she goes into doctor mode, she's not the Brit, you know, she's not the either uh, caustic Brit or yeah. the, you know, she just kind of goes into it. And I think that speaks to anyone, you know, people have all sorts of facets of their all personality. Sorts of, yeah, right. exactly. I thought that episode was so like that, those couple of episodes were so well done. Um, I was really, I was really proud of GH and, and the effort that they put into telling that story. It was, it, was, it turned out really nice. So what does Britt think of Carly? Because I think Carly and Jason have that unbreakable bond as friends and whatever. Yeah. What does she think of Carly? Do you think Carly would ever accept Britt as Jason's? <laughs> no. Part <of> <laughs> Definitely don't. I, you know, um, I, Brit doesn't, I think Brit's a little like playing it safe with Carly because on the one hand, she, she sees the bond that they have and she obviously wants this person to like her because she's having feelings for Carly's best friend. So, you know, so she's playing it safe slightly, but also just a little bit, I don't think it's just, I think she gets to a point where it doesn't bother her anymore and she doesn't really pay her any mind, which Carly probably doesn't like. <laughs> yeah, but it's an interesting dynamic. You know, they've been friends, they're so close. And I think for any woman to step into that position with Jason and to be a love interest and have a romantic relationship with him, understanding that their dynamic is gonna take some time. Now the Huntington's disease, this is, I believe it's this week, I think, doesn't she go to the, yeah. this is where she, this is obviously, she's going to be in a vulnerable place Yeah. and Jason's going to be there for her. I can't give much away, but I will say that, you know, she does, she does find out if she has it um, or not. And Jason is right there by her side and very supportive. Um, and it is a beautiful story. Yeah. I I bet. That's all I, I can say. <laughs> okay. And I was just going to say, though, it's so nice because this gives your character, it's not just the villainous, the bitch, the this, it does layer her a little more, right? Definitely. You know? Yeah. How, whatever happens, let's say that she does have it, it'll show like a vulnerable side of her. And if she doesn't have it, I think a weight is going to be lifted off of, off of her because she's been struggling with finding out for so long. 
it's a very scary, I did, I did a lot of research when this whole story kind of started coming to fruition and it's a very scary decision to make. 90% of people choose not to find out if they have it because it's such a life altering thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I love that they've given me this, this story. It's, it's really emotional, it's really heavy and I feel extremely honored to be able to play this story and for Brit to go through this experience. Do you think uh, when you look back at her scenes with Brad and all of that, do you wish there was more stuff with that? With their I relationship? Do. Yes, there might be, you know, yeah. there, there might be a Some. fun, something, not a fun, but something coming up with, with him. We'll see. Do you remember when they were eating ice cream and watching the red carpet at the, so funny. <laughs> everybody? You know, we <laughs> talked the, about the that. Yeah, I was like, people thought this was hilarious. Like the audience really loved it. Oh, great. Because <laughs> it's like we all, because it's kind of like how people are. Totally. Don't true. all watch the red carpet and trash. Yeah. We're like, we're making fun of the dresses. Yeah. We're trashing. Isn't that kind yeah. of real? It's real life. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it says, you know, Brad and Britt add like a comedic kind of playfulness to the show, which I think is needed because um, things can get really heavy. So what does she, what is her relationship with Cyrus Renoni? Because he brought her in to be the chief of staff, manipulated everything, wanted, you know, her to work for, you know, under his, she's under his thumb. Yeah. So now what? Now, what can you see happening there if you were to? Yeah. Well, she, now, you know, she's on the run because of, he tried to have her killed. Um, I think that was something that was, you know, always looming in the background, but not really expected. Like he would never do that at the hospital where she works and that he runs, you know? So that was, uh, that was very bold of him. And um, I think she's just trying to figure out how to, how to deal with that. If, if, and when she comes back to Port Charles, you know, how is she going to face him? Is her life still a threat? You know, all of those things we will soon find out. Oh my gosh. Do you like working with Jeff? He's- Oh, are you kidding, Jeff? I mean, I was a huge Sons of Anarchy fan. And when I saw- like him, what? I know, I was like, you're on General Hospital. What are you doing? You're amazing, you know? And he is the like, he plays such a villain in a lot of his different projects, but he is such a zen, calm, like- He does a meditation he thing, a right? Lot. Yeah, he teaches meditation, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. He's the coolest dude. Like so easy to talk to, so knowledgeable. Love him. I hope he sticks around. Well, they need a good baddie. Too. I know. They always need a good villain. So you and Kathleen Gotti also, we always love the scenes between the two of you. Yes. And so is there been a favorite scene that the two of you shared? Because they've had escapades and problems. And has there been a mother, daughter, mother? There's been so many. Um recently. You know, there was some fun stuff recently that we did. Um, I think it was like a couple months ago, maybe, maybe longer, but we're like, we're in the nightclub and we're chatting. It was right before Maxie and Peter's wedding and we're in the nightclub and we're chatting. And then she goes to Maxie's place and like finds that envelope. And I kind of, I, Maxie and I arrive right when she's getting there and I'm like pushing her out of the house. And that was really fun. She's just so fun. Um, but we've had so many wonderful scenes together. I can't, trying to remember all of them. I know there's been a lot, but it's kind of like, ima imagine that they kept them both going. Do you know I what know. I mean? The, sh the show kept them both going. Yeah. It's kind of like they knew what they had. You yeah. Know? Sure. It works. You know, it's so interesting. I didn't know this. Kathleen told me that she actually came on the show before my character ever started. And then the cast, I was like, wow, the casting of that ended up so perfect because we look very similar. Like we look like we could be related. And it's like, that's crazy. I thought that my character came on and then they casted a mother for her, but no, it was the opposite. The opposite. So that was so interesting. And yeah, I mean, she's been on the show for so long and it just is a, a, a testament to who she is and her acting and her flexibility and joy and like her, how she takes everything very serious. She works very hard and it pays off. And with Wes Ramsey and the brother sister, the half brother sister, how is that to play? Because, you know, she obviously is on to everything. I mean, she's on yeah. to him. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think there's any sort of um, reconciliation between the two of them. Like, he 
he has crossed the line with for Brit, in my opinion. Um, it'll be interesting to see how his character kind of gets some sort of redemption because he is so, he is really stepping into that. that he's on stun. Yeah. 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 He really is. And he's doing a great job. And I was hoping that the scene where um, I confront him for publishing Franco's medical records, I was really hoping that it was like this brother sister war that was going to go never really got there, but it was exciting to like kind of challenge each other in his office. And, you know, he's also another like fantastic actor who takes his job very seriously and works really hard. And everyone on the show is just so talented. So the more people I get to work with, the more exciting it is for me personally and also my character. It's just like spreading branches. And you're like, but wait, I'm on the run. I'm landlocked yeah. with Steve. <laughs> you know, but and that's not like, a bad place to be. So not a bad place to be at all. And that's and that's another thing. Sorry to jump, but I just wanted no. to say I was so frustrated with this false positive that I got for the COVID test because Steve and I were only working with each other. And I was like, oh no. Is he not going to be able to work? Like, is he going to be screwed? You know, it was just like, uh, because we were, we were on the run. It was just the two of us. So. And so you got the false positive and then they had to, so what, so you got a false positive. Yes. And then you had to. I couldn't work for 10 days, which right. I wasn't aware of. And it's, it's an LA County rule. Um, they told me that I tested positive. I was like, okay, well, I know I don't have COVID. So let me just do a couple of tests and prove to you that I don't have COVID. And they're like, Kelly, I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. Like LA County rules won't allow you to come to work for 10 days. And I had just prepared so much dialogue. We had so much that's now starting to play on air. We had so much stuff. And I know Steve was working hard. I was working hard. It was just a very frustrating situation. So you had to quarantine back for 10 days. Yeah. And then they had to retest you, right? To be able to come yeah, back. Yeah. I had to then, retest multiple times. And then and those were negative. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's such been such a, and then you're probably for you, like you said, you're prepared to do this stuff. Yes. And you're like, crap now. Yeah. But we've all been living in this I horrible know. altered reality for so long, you know? Um, what has it been like to go to work then during this whole COVID thing? Are there protocols in place yeah. and everything, right? Yeah, ABC, Disney's doing a really good job. Uh, we get COVID tested three times a week, depending on how busy your schedule is during the week. Um, and now for, you know, love scenes or kissing scenes or anything like that, we have a whole protocol that we have to go through. We wear masks all the time on set. Um, everyone, hair, makeup shield mask the whole crew is in masks like it's been you know they take it very seriously um i don't think anyone wants another setback abc disney's doing a great job and we all are just happy to have a job <laughs> of all the bad things brit has done what do you think's the worst <laughs> i mean um you know the embryo the the, the, embryo. the, the embryos kind of number one <laughs> i mean going up on stage at the at the nurse's ball with a pregnant belly and saying that it was it was uh patrick drake's was just crazy so stealing the embryo and 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 passing that off as my own child i think is is pretty out there and you worked with jason thompson a lot oh right? yeah another great actor another great actor i miss him he was so fun so fun. Do you, what would, what do you want to have happen for her? What do you think now seeing kind of what you know, I know without spoiling it for people, but what do you see the trajectory of her at this point that would make you as an actress kind of happy? Um, I, I am hoping that she does find love, you know, Britt has never had that. So it'd be really interesting to see that softer, vulnerable, more kind of romantic, selfless. We've never seen her in love, I don't think, yeah. right? We've no. never seen her, what, what she yeah, would- I think there was something between her and Nicholas. Um, oh, of course, that was a whole other thing. You know, there was definitely something there. Um, I, I think that- She was, loved Nicholas, right? She did, yeah, she did, she did. Um, but it was still, there's, I feel like there's another layer that you can, that we can go with Brit and, you know, finding love and, and hopefully she gets it. And 
Um, you know, what else do I want to see with her? Do you want her to be like super doctor? Like, do you want her to, do you want her to still be her, like, really dedicated to her profession? Do you see her continuing that I way? Do. Or? I definitely do. Yeah, I see her kind of being more uh, dedicated than ever. And I, I hope she maybe kind of, I'd like to get, I'd like to get a little bit of spunk back in her and be, you know, have some fun, a little, a little bit more fun for Brit. She was an OBGYN, right? Before she was chief of staff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> None of that makes sense. It's like, how do we, it was just like, okay, she was just in prison. And yeah, she was just in prison. You know, listen, she worked out a deal with Cyrus. She worked so. out a deal with Cyrus, I got. So what's your perfect, for you as an actress, is your perfect situation like being able to do GH and do movie, like you like the flexibility, right? Of being able to step into other roles. Because a lot of people, it's one way or the other. I see yeah. a lot of people like really want this. Yeah. You know, and they're all in. Yeah. No, they're not all in. I mean, but that you don't want to do other. They like the consistency of it. Yeah. Consistency is what I'm saying. Where yeah. do you sit with it now? I have always, and I think will will always, no matter how old I get, um, I love jumping into different projects. I never want to be in one thing and playing one thing for my entire career. I, you know, there's so many great stories out there to tell. There's, there's so many people to meet and I am just someone who wants to do it all. I always have been. Um, so I'm hoping that that can happen and I can have the luxury of, you know, being on daytime and playing this incredible character with all these amazing actors and telling really cool, funny, dramatic stories and then hopping over to do like an indie that's, you know, completely opposite. And I like also like location shooting, you know, that's really, really fun for me. Um, and like doing a movie for three months and then you leave it and it's done. Yeah. And you go to something else, you know? Right. Yeah. right. Well, the one thing I will say is Brit is a very unique character on daytime. There really isn't a character quite like her that's it's, it is very unique it because is. of the fun zappers that she has and the comical elements and the yeah. horrible things she's done and now the love thing, you know, like, yeah, they're really, it's a very cool character. Like, I guess if I was going to get to play, it's a cool character. Yeah, you know, I agree. Thing. And I think there's a lot of places to take her. You know, there's a lot of like roads that she can go down. Um, it's been really fun. Is there anybody there when you first got to GH that was the person that kind of took you under the wing to kind of show you what was going on there? Or were you kind of floating by yourself? I can't really recall anyone taking me under their wing. Um, you know, I will say as of late, I feel like Laura has been doing that with me, which has been really, really lovely. Um, our dressing rooms are right next to each other. Laura Wright. Laura. And also Kirsten, Kirsten, because we have been working together so much, is someone that I feel like I can trust and I can lean on and she will not steer me the wrong way. But Laura, because she's so experienced and she's such a phenomenal actress, um, you know, even the other day, she's giving me a pointer because daytime is very technical. And it's something that I think for so long, I've been like, no, I'm not gonna do this technical stuff. That's not the kind of actress that I am. But at the end of the day, if you want your story and your emotion, your, your, you know, your, your the, the emotion of the character to show on television, you have to become a technical actress. And she is, she's really like helping me understand that. And I'm very, very grateful. So, it's like, where's the camera? Where's the light? Exactly. Where's the, where do you yeah. need to be? You know, because a lot of things, and they also move so quickly. So quickly, yeah. So quickly. And I bet you're like, like you were saying, I want to do that again. And there is no time. There's no time. That's, I think, the hardest thing for me is just not having that flexibility to feel like I can play, you know, and you, and you can, you know, there are times where if you do ask to do another take, they will give it to you. But um, it's it doesn't happen a lot, and I think sometimes you even feel guilty to ask because you know they have you know 50 items that they have to get through. So that's been the hardest. But yeah, I'm really grateful. You know, I, I may not have gotten that in the beginning of my my start on GH, but I do feel like I have that now. And maybe that's me that's kind of evolved a little bit. Maybe I was 
you know, not approachable or more standoffish than, than I am now. And so people feel like they can kind of make friends with me or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I, I'm happy. Right. Good. And now what are the fans? So we know the fans are giving you heat about with Jason. What else do you get? For, what are they saying on social media to you? you know, it, it is a mixed like, bag. It's a, it's mixed, a mixed bag. bag for sure. I get a lot of people who are like, I love Jason and Sam together, but I'm really digging this new relationship. I'm, I'm here for it. They're long J Sam like followers and we'll, we'll never die. We'll never change. And I, you know, they hate me. So it's just kind of like, <laughs> but do they ever say stuff just about like, take Jason out of it? Yeah, they do. They what do. about Brit? Do you not get like, oh, I love Brit? Like, no, don't no, you no, I get a lot of that. Yes, I do. I get a lot of people who are rooting for Brit, who love Brit. Brit makes them laugh. Um, yeah. I get a lot of stuff. I would love to see Maxie and Britt like have to do like team up. Yeah. Like that's what I was hoping was gonna happen with the Peter thing, like until yeah. Britt was taken off to went on the run, but like to team up and like do a caper or something because so fun. Pearson's really funny too. Her timing. She's so her timing, her is, timing so is yeah. She's very dry, which like, you know, and she's not just that, but she she doesn't force anything and it's very funny that her deliveries are very very funny i mean half the time her and i just want to ad lib we're like please just let us ad lib these scenes because they're so hilarious you know and we can't do that but uh yeah she's great does your do uh your family watch you on general hospital they do what do yeah. they think I, what does your family think of like kelly being on gh playing this yeah wackadoodle i mean this character is so Faceted, multi, not wackadoo, multifaceted. She's what are they a little wackadoo. Yeah. Um, they, you know, um, <laughs> they haven't really commented on, as of late, they haven't really commented on Brit as much as just like really enjoying seeing me on TV. And um, my dad texts me often about people who come up to him and you know, oh. some nice things about me and he just feels very proud and that that makes me feel good. And my grandparents watch, which they were never soap people. And even when I left the show the first time, they still watch GH. And I was like, oh wow, this is a big deal. <laughs> Cause they would never do that. Were so, you ever a, were you did you ever watch in a hospital before? Were you not a soap person at all? I did growing up. I never watched soaps. I got into General Hospital in my early 20s and I watched um, a little bit. I wasn't like a diehard fan, but I did watch a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really the only soap that I watched. I don't know why. Not your thing, maybe back then. Yeah, well, I, I don't know why, like, I went to GH. Maybe, be, yeah, I've, I've, it just came on one day, and then I was like, ooh, what's going on here? I, I don't know what it was. And you end up on it. And then I end up on it, which is so crazy. If you were to tease what's coming up, what should we expect? Because I'm worried about Brit. I'm worried about Brit. Um, I'm waiting to see if her and Jason are going to, like, hit the sheets. I mean, I don't know. Really do you yet. think? Do you think they're going to? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I do. Okay. Uh, um, I do. I could be wrong, but that would be kind of like a big tease that never nothing happened. I know that would, that that would be. I mean, that would be kind of like, okay, why did we just watch this? Exactly. You know? I mean, exactly. there needs to be some payoff. Totally. Of that, but I also think what's, but I also, you know, we're worried about her with the Huntingtons or whatever, and. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how can I word this without giving anything away? It's yes, let's word this without giving anything away, but oh, gosh, um, let's just say it's going to be really good TV. It's going to be really, really good. And, um, and you know, there's also, there's also some really fun stuff coming up with Jason and Britt. So, you know, getting to see their characters in a slightly different light together, which I think is fun would but she would be crushed would she not Britt? if he like how would she feel if he like went back to sam or what what, what would yeah. she do at this point i think right now what's aired um how Britt would feel she would be she would be a little surprised i think she would be pretty surprised and yeah she would be hurt there's so much I wish I could tell you. No, and the thing, the thing is, I'm, but then I'm like, well, if she gets hurt, will she lash out and be like, 
Will she be mature about it or will she do some- I never. Will she do some shady thing? She's Brit Westford. She's what Brit you Westford. Yeah. Did you, did you always love that they called her the Brit? I did. It was a nickname okay. that I always loved. Like, it's such a good one. You're like, I play the Brit. <laughs> yeah, I do. I inter I introduce myself as the Brit sometimes, like if people are, are fans of the show. Uh, it's really funny. I don't, you know, I, I like- I'm usually like super easy with all the jokes and things about my character. Like you can poke fun at me. I, I play along, like I laugh at all that stuff. I don't know, did you see this tweet that I retweeted where someone with the old, with the phase on face that he put on mine? Yes. yes How I hilarious was that? So that was funny. so good. I'm always game for stuff like that. I think it's so funny. And I, Anders Hove was so great too. Uh, yeah. I mean, did you like working with him? Yeah, he was really intense. I remember like just, you know, even in our act, like in the acting of it all, just being like really kind of terrified <laughs> because he is so intense. And he, you know, he played that role really, really well. It would be really fun to bring him back, but you know, who knows if they ever would or how they would do it, but it would be, it would be great. It's just yeah. so good. Does Brit ever get to, share scenes with Anna because don't you love like yeah, Finola? Yeah, yeah I love yeah. Finola. What a, she's such a star. Love her so much and she's so cool. Like the women on the show are just really cool um, and again someone that you know is a, such an open individual and also there to help and talk and be friends and you know get to like it's really nice to get to know each other on a personal level. We work on a show we see each other every day in the halls like and I have that relationship with her and she's great. Love working with her. Okay. All right. Well, I will let you go, but everybody, thank you, Kelly, so much. Thank you so much for having me. Talk this to is so you. Fun. And make sure to watch Kelly Weekdays on ABC on General Hospital for more of the drama. Yes, tune in. It's going to be and so good. Do not miss it. Yes. It was great to catch up with you. Likewise. So good That's to see great. you. I'm glad you're well. I'm glad you're well too. All right. See you soon. We'll say. Yes. You see All right. That